Well, while I'm waiting in the Bojangles line, I might as well give you guys an intro here. I am currently waiting here in a Bojangles line at 8 a.m., waiting for me to get an egg, bacon, cheese. Been here for about 15 minutes. Today, we're gonna be doing some pond hopping. I've got a few hours, I got about three hours exactly, starting now, actually. I've got about three hours to, you know, get whatever done, and I'm gonna be doing some bass fishing at some ponds, doing some pond hopping. So yeah, we're gonna do some pond hopping here. This guy, I don't know what the hell he's ordering right now, but he's been there for at least 10 minutes ordering. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. Uh, I don't know if we're going to catch any big fish or not, but that'd be pretty sick. It's a cloudy day today, overcast. Uh, it's freaking cold. I'm not going to lie. It's like 40, 45 right now. Uh, it's going to warm up as the day goes on, but we've had a little bit of a cold front come in uh, here in North Carolina for a few weeks. Check this out, guys. We're actually going to move. I'm going to order some food. Hopefully it doesn't take up too much of my time, and I'll see you guys at the pond. Three rigs of choice. We got swim jig, bandito bug, and wacky rig. You know, I say three rigs of choice, but I'll be honest, that's the these are the three rigs I'm throwing like 99% of the time. So yeah, this is my go-to pond hopping little setup right here is these three. I always like to have one piece of spinning gear and then try and make the majority bait casting. So it's the most versatile you can get. I think for now, we're gonna start off with this wacky rig, throw it around for a little bit. See if we can catch some smaller ones out of here, just get some numbers. And then we're probably gonna move and see if we can find some of those bigger fish. There's a fish. Okay, never mind. Lost him. I think. Yep, lost him. That was my first fish of the day, first bite of the day at least. I'm just sitting here paralleling the bank, trying to get as close to the bank as possible without being too shallow. That was my first bite, probably from a tiny guy. You can kind of just tell sometimes when it's a smaller one. And I mean, I'm fishing a wacky rig, green pumpkin trick worm. That bait is the dink of master. Sometimes you just gotta understand though, when you're fishing smaller ponds, fish aren't gonna be as big. So you gotta downsize, you gotta make sure you're throwing the right baits to actually get bit. That's a fish. Oh, he dropped it. Why'd he drop it? There's another one. This is definitely a little guy. I think what's happening is he's picking it up from the tail. Yeah, look at how wonky my bait is after that. He's taking it and just taking the tail. He's not committed. This is like a six inch worm. So it's slightly big, but not really. Regard the survival instinct. Oh, Jesus. What the little guy, tiny, tiny guy right there. That's probably what was biting me earlier. He's got it again. No, he doesn't. Or did he? I don't know. I think that honestly might be just an aggressive bluegill. Check this out. It's a whole egg. And that is definitely not a grocery store egg. I can promise you that. Look at two of them. This one's been eaten, clearly. Okay, now, I can't tell. That might be a grocery store egg. I don't know. This guy right here doesn't look very grocery store-like. You can see there's some, some bugs on it. Well, if that is a legit egg, that's long gone. I'll tell you what, that hawk over there might have gotten to it. There's a nest right there. Uh, right on the other side, right where that bank is, there's a, a geese nest. And, I mean, I see it every year, that same hawk. Well, it's probably not the same one. But uh, th these, these two geese right here always have to fight these hawks off. And, you know, they tend to get, get to, the, to the nest and try and snatch them. And I think maybe this guy got a little bit lucky. He might have dropped one. And luckily it didn't crack, but you couldn't find it maybe. I'm just gonna let nature take its course. I'm not gonna move it, touch it or anything like that. Well, I'm gonna keep moving. For some reason I couldn't get any bites here and check this out. This is the nest I'm talking about. You guys probably can't hear me too well. That's the nest right there. Yep, no eggs. And certainly no geese. Those geese are up here. Clearly aren't too mad that I was right there, so. I'm gonna do something that I normally wouldn't do right now. I'm actually gonna go to a pond. You know, usually right now, since I have no fish on the board, I would probably go to a different pond, similar to this one that has some pretty high numbers, not too huge fish, but I'm actually gonna do the exact opposite. I'm gonna fish a pond that has nothing but big fish and has really little numbers, and maybe I'll get lucky and catch a five pounder or maybe catch like two, three pounders. I'd be cool with that. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a switch up here. And, uh, Pond's right around the box, so we'll see what we can do. Well, folks, 
as you can hear the birds chirping it is day two now um early morning again i've been going fishing in the morning every single day what's a fish there we go we're hooked up little guy little little guy okay oh actually not a bad one for this pond i'll take him that's the first fish of the day put it there all right boom first fish in the books he's a cool little chunk not a huge fish very pretty fish got some awesome colors on him this is like a, a frame perfect bass right here a frame perfect largemouth bass check that out super sick absolutely frame perfect all right let's go and get him back in the water There he goes. Well, that is a start. Looking to improve, possibly, but nonetheless, that is definitely a start. Took us about seven minutes. Taking a few casts so far, it took us about seven minutes to get that guy. Not bad. I'm hoping to get like a couple more of those guys, or maybe a few more of those at this pond so I can move to a, another pond with bigger fish. And then that's when the fun begins. At least that's when the real fun begins. So much better. My allergies are so bad. That guy was literally blowing around all the pollen. He was blowing all the pollen off from his patio and it was literally just flooding to the freaking pond. I couldn't take it anymore. The pollen was just getting all over me. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this pond. It didn't really produce as much as I thought it would. I got that one lucky bite early. Didn't really get anything after that. I'm gonna head to a different spot now, which hopefully there's nobody uh, blowing pollen all over the pond. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that and uh, hopefully we get some numbers there and I think we're gonna head to another spot and try and get some size because I know there is some size at this next one I'm going to but it's extremely rare extremely uncommon so if I do get on some size I'd be very lucky and then I'm gonna head to a different pond and try and get some size so yeah one fish on the board so far not necessarily satisfied yet although we'll, we will take it the skunk is off the bank oh there's a fish fish on Feels like a pretty solid one. Oh yeah, it's because it is. Come here. We'll take that all day of the week. Come here. That right there is our second fish of the day. I'm not gonna lie, I've been struggling. Look at this this heron right here. You are not gonna be able to fit this in your gullet, buddy. This right here is the second fish of the day. I'll be honest. I have been struggling tremendously right now. Uh, yeah, I've been struggling. I think this cold front is honestly slowing this fishing down drastically. It's just been, it's been super tough. But I uh, finally got this guy in a swim jig. I don't know why I decided to come here. I'll be honest, it's not really <laughs> a very good pond, but we got it done. We got our second fish of the day. Solid. Uh, he's probably just under two, maybe two if he's lucky, but not a bad one. Fighting pretty good. Yeah, this, uh, this heron here, you're not going to be able to eat this guy, and I'm not going to let you anyway, so let's go and get you back in the water. Oh, there's the koi. You guys probably don't know about this, but I've been fishing this pond for a, a few years now. And uh, there's this koi that lives here. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see me attempt to catch this guy. I've never seen him in this part of the pond, I'm going to be honest. I've been fishing for a while now. I'm, I'm not going to I'm getting tired. I'm getting pissed. Oh, look, there he is right there. I'm not going to move. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but he's a pretty big koi. Just going that. Okay, I'm going to point at him so you guys can kind of see. Right there. Look at that. Surely you guys can see that. He's right there. I've never really been this close to him. Big old koi. Yeah, let me let me know if you guys maybe want to see like a little mini series of me trying to go after this guy. Or just a, in general, just a, a video of me trying to catch him. I feel like that'd be pretty freaking cool. Three and a half hours later, I'm done. That's it. Uh, my pollen allergies are getting absolutely insane with the amount I've been out now. Like I literally, like I, I cannot take it anymore. Um, I fished for about three and a half hours, caught two fish. It's just been a struggle. I'll be honest, this cold front is, is not, it's not been good for the bass fishing. I've been doing some grass carp fishing lately and even then, these geese are being extremely annoying about it. You guys know how geese can be. Every time I've tried to go grass carp fishing, geese just ruin the entire day. I go out fishing, I see a grass carp, I'm like, oh, let's catch this guy. And then the boot, and then the geese basically swoop in and say, say no more. And they come in and they eat all my bread. And they ruin the day, and there's plenty of grass carp around, so the grass carp fishing is definitely like 
probably pretty good right now if there wasn't any geese. So I've been trying to do that recently and I just have not been able to. So bass fishing is obviously what I do the most of and it's just, it's been a struggle with this cold front. Like I said a bunch of times in this video, cold front's been a struggle. Hopefully it gets better soon here. We're kind of now in post-spawn conditions. Uh, we kind of, I'll be honest, I kind of skipped through the spawn. I don't like bed fishing. You guys, you know, you guys know that. I don't like bed fishing. I don't like spawn fishing. I like early spring fishing for giant fish. I think now they might be a little bit smaller. Some spawned out, some still huge. And hopefully we can catch one of those guys pretty soon. But for now, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be all. I apologize. I only caught two fish. It, uh, I, in this video, in total, I've had like nine or ten hours of total fishing time and I caught two fish. So I just want to say if you guys are new to the channel here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I go fishing now twice a day, uh, once in the morning and once in the evening, of course, when my schedule allows. Which is lots of fishing and hopefully lots of videos to be making and to be editing. As long as I catch fish... That means I've got a video. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit that dislike button if you didn't like the video. I'll catch you guys in our next video here soon. We'll see what that's going to be. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video.